CryptoFight's next generation, gaming, use strategy, logic, and probability to win. Customize and evolve your fighters. Pick a species and choose your skills. Whether you'd like to play as a dual-wielding human assassin, a melee dwarf warrior, or a spellcasting dark elf, the choice is all yours. Check out their game guide that will help you come up with the best strategy to create and evolve your fighters. Explore the world and unlock new arenas. Complete quests or fight other players. Learn the basics of being a crypto fighter against the dummy in the training grounds, or arm yourself and prepare for a brawl against another player in the wilderness jungle. Reach the higher tier arenas to battle higher level players and explore the many worlds of crypto fights. Win real money in their cash tournaments. Turn your $1 entry fee into a $6,000 reward. Stop wasting your time playing games and spending money with no return. Get good at crypto fights and win money along the way with their native cash tournaments. Sell your items on the marketplace. Own your loot, sell and trade it freely. Sell and trade your items in the marketplace to gain access to hard to find items and make more money. A full game economy to profit with. Game mechanics based on Dungeons and Dragons. The classic game of D&D with a modern twist. Crypto Fights Metier, most effective tactics available, include what skills path you take developing your fighter and what skills you bring into a battle along with the equipment you choose. There are counters to everything in Crypto Fights so you will need to use deep strategy, critical logic, and weigh probabilities in real time. Roll dice to see if you hit your opponent and for how much damage. Change your strategy to increase your chances by picking the right weapons and armor. Turn the tide by using the right skill at the right moment. Initiative roll. The first turn is decided with a dice roll for initiative. Certain species have bonuses added to this roll to give them a better chance of going first. Attack roll. The player rolls dice to attack. If the result of the dice is high enough, they can hit the opponent. Damage Roll If there is a successful hit then other dice are rolled to determine how much damage to inflict. Hey guys, it's Metavi, basically Crypto Fights is a free-to-play turn-style fantasy RPG that uses D&D dice roll combat. There's both PvE and PvE, and you get NFT gear that you can sell for real money. Unlike some of the other basic blockchain games, this one actually has decent graphics and animation and feels like a traditional game. I made our own webpage and hopefully some of these videos will help today. I want to show everyone how easy it is to make a new character in Level Up. It took me a little over an hour to get this character to level 5, we'll drop part 2 of these video for level 6 to 10. Which is the max right now. I'll throw up some graphics, but basically, just create a new player, pick a door. For stats you want to go with 14 strength, 9 dexterity, and 9 intelligence. If you're a total noob with no gear, then go with 14 strength, 10 dexterity, and 7 intelligence at level 1, put on any weapon you have and get into the dungeon portal and start up the first fight and then spam attack. Hopefully you get some good rolls, and after you beat the first boss, you'll be able to pick your first skill. For this build, we're going with unarmed. It's nice because it's a simple starter build and doesn't require you to have any weapons at all. While you start to gear up. Fair and transparent. See what is really happening with the game rules and mechanics, including why a player wins or loses down to the transactional level. Stored forever. All past games are archived forever and can be replayed at any time in the future. Think of it as a never-ending time capsule. Easily accessible. All current live games data can be broadcasted to game clients to render out live games on any device. Own your items. Players can now own all their items instead of the game developer. This unlocks a new economy for buying, selling, and trading your gear. The significant part is that it transforms your clench hand into merciless weighty harm, which will set up your next scale at level 4. It ensure you remove whatever weapon you had and simply continue to spam assault at levels 3, 5, 7, and 9. You'll have the option to expand one of your details for this form. You're placing every one of your focuses into strength. 
When you get to even out 4, the following expertise you will pick is called Charge. Generally the expertise just works with a 2 gate weapon, but since you picked unarmed your weapons consider severe weight. Now. Rather than having only 2 assaults, you'll have 4 assaults. You get 4 individual assault moves now, and assuming you get a fruitful assault job, then, at that point, you'll get a harm job, which will be the last harm you bargain. Presently for your battles, you'll get going projecting charge. Spam assault possibly, you'll be dead or your objective will be dead when charge wears off. Likewise at level 3, you can toss on essential mail or plate shield and any protective caps you may have at level 6, I get to pick power assault. Inability lessens your hit possibility by 5, yet expands your arm by 5, which is likewise truly pleasant since I got the last 2 abilities. You'll get an opportunity assaulting multiple times and if each of the 4x6, 6, 6 individuals, and assuming every one of the 4 are effective, in addition to the fact that you will manage the typical harm rules, however you'll have 20 extra harm due to the force of tech expertise. So presently, your pivot becomes charged. Spamming power tech at level 6, you can toss on an uncommon at level 6, you can toss on any uncommon shield or head protectors that you have best in opening right currently is a male covering of solidarity and skill and the horned cap of solidarity. Incredible work. Incidentally, you arrived at the last supervisor of the Timberland prison, the feared or boss. He has a capacity called Tom, which assuming he gets off first, you will not have the option to involve charge for a little while. The main thing you can do is use power assault or normal assault. He can be somewhat irritating, however powerful. Simply continue onward. Good, focus on this one. When you get sufficient experience to hit level 7, don't do it pause and don't do it. Assuming you level the 7, you will not have the option to get any more experience for beating the conflict boss. The main way you can step up will be the PvP field, which costs a minimal expenditure. Isn't simple all the time for amateurs with no stuff. I can go into PvP at some other point, yet for this video, I simply need to assist you with step up. You will not have the option to get into the following prison and to even out 9. What we will do is spam the conflict boss until you have sufficient experience to go from 6 to 9. And ensure after each time you beat him, hit proceed, however don't step up. Is CryptoFights a MMO or a single player online game? CryptoFights is a single player fantasy RPG game. Your fighter is paired up with another opponent's fighter in a 1v1 battle that lasts one round and ends when either of the fighter's hit points reaches zero. Are CryptoFights matches played out in real time? Yes. You and your opponent's fighters will play against each other in a real-time turn-based match, and you would both be able to see each other's actions play out in real time. Is it easy to work my way to the top when starting as a new player? Yes, your fighter will always be paired up with another fighter of the same level, so when you first start leveling up your fighter, you will be put against other fighters with the same skill set and at the same level. Do I need to use money to play CryptoFights? Yes. Now that we have launched on Mainnet you use real money to compete in cash tournaments against other players. Single player campaigns are free to play and do not require any costs to fight. Do I have to pay to create my character? How many can I make? All character creations are free. Players can make as many different characters with different build types to experience varying styles of gameplay. What platforms is CryptoFights available on and what are the requirements to run it? CryptoFights is currently playable on Android, the Android emulator, Bluestacks or on Windows. iOS coming soon. We recommend a device with at least 4GB of RAM for maximum performance. You will need at least 350 MBs free on your device to download and run the CryptoFights app. Can I play CryptoFights with my friends? Currently, there are no teams or multiplayer fights. To play with friends you must be on the same level and enter the same arena at once to increase chances of being paired up together. 
What can I do with all of the items I've won from loot drops? Good question, the items can be used in a multitude of ways. You can smelt, trade, sell, or auction items in the marketplace. In the future, you'd be able to sell, melt or trade them straight from within the game. Do I need an internet connection to be able to play crypto fights? Yes, a stable internet connection is required to play crypto fights. Since matchmaking and matches work in real time, a poor internet connection on your device might affect gameplay and cause you to time out. Note that when you time out or disconnect from the game, your opponent automatically wins the match and your entry fee cannot be refunded. Can I reset the game and start again from the beginning? Yes, you will need to uninstall and clear cache slash data for the app. Can I continue my game on a new device? Yes, you can continue playing on any device by logging into your existing account. Return to the world guide and continue to spam the conflict. Boss you'll have to beat him multiple times before you get a sum of 15,000 experience focuses, which is the thing that you really want to jump to even out 9. When you get 15,000 experience level up multiple times, continue to expand your solidarity and at level 8, get further develop power assault, which simply causes it to cause more harm. I level 9, you can enter the snow mountain. You can battle any of the supervisors there, however just the Ice Savage and Aqua will at any point give you experience focuses. Both of these are somewhat extreme, however I chose to spam the Ice Savage to get to even out 10. It ought to be noticed that once you truly do get to even out 10, you'll have a brief supervisor's cooldown per chief. Before you can battle them once more. Tip here, assuming you couldn't care less with regards to experience and you simply need to cultivate gear, I would remain at level 9 and homestead the ice, blood organization, every one of the three supervisors in the snow mountain have a similar plunder and they all give you a 2% possibility that an uncommon thing after you get a lot of stuff. You can go to the FYEX gaming site and go under my NFTs to liquefy your stuff for cash. Simply ensure you don't miss any of your great things. You can burn through cash on the game on the off chance that you need, or you can continue to cultivate here so you can get more into PvP and set aside and go out to shop at the NFT commercial center.